Hi, my name is Francis. I am a maintainer of Node Serial Port. I'm Recon Bot on the internet. Um, one of these things. And I had an issue that I thought was interesting, and I wanted to solve it on Screencast, inspired by Nolan Lawson and his Screencast with PouchDB. Serial ports have something they call uh, DTR. And DTR is um, a pin that uh, is part of serial ports that basically goes live and it's like uh, data transmission ready. And yeah, data terminal ready, there we go. And it's, it's a pin and by default, when you open a port and the computer's ready to talk, this goes high. When you have an Arduino though, uh, particularly in Uno, it will reset the device. And they do this so when you open the port, you have uh, a brief amount of time to program it. Um, and this is how the Arduino IDE works to program their devices. But if you say wanna go and talk to your Arduino and it's doing something, um, it, it will reset your Arduino and then it starts it over and that's a pain. So um, I understand why people don't want it. DTR is one of those like, I'm going to say esoteric things. Not many serial devices care or need it or pay attention, but some of them do. And it used to be an out of bound control, uh, you know, control signal basically, like so you could pause your device or things like that. Um, this person's opened this issue and they turn it off, but unfortunately, the port is probably already open and has already been reset when they turn it off. And so um, they use the set uh, function, which is, you know, it's a good function. Um, it, it should do its job, though I think it hasn't been fully tested, unfortunately. Um, it's been tested on, a, uh, on certain levels, but we haven't gotten all the way down to a physical hardware integration test, which is a lot harder than it seems. Um, though maybe it doesn't seem easy. <laughs> um, but what we want is to be able to turn this off when we open. Um, now, I'm not sure how to do this because if we have it on, yeah, well, let me walk through how this works. Um, and I'll stick with Unix for now. I'm not sure about Windows, we'll have to look at that. But we look and this is the function underneath where we can set these, these, these symbols, uh, we can set these states for the port. Um, it takes though a file descriptor, and you know, it may be hard to understand what the heck's going on. Um, I have to say, when I first started learning the internals of serial port, I was nervous, I was scared. But um, you know, Linux has been around a long time. There is a wealth of knowledge out there, and unfortunately, it requires an incredible amount of context to understand. Um, and so. We can start with the open, I suppose. You know, I'm not going to dig into this um, too much, but you open a port and you get a file descriptor. And then whenever you want to do anything on the port, you need to use this file descriptor. It's a number, you know, so you open, you open a, a file and they give you a number like two. Sometimes they give you zero, which we didn't actually account for. It was a bug a while back. Um, but they give you an integer and then you use this to do your to work. And then when you're done, you close it. And if you don't close it, then the port stays open and you can screw up other things. Like, like there's all, yeah. You know, but the concept is they give you this this handle uh, to hold on to the file. <laughs> um, that is that is um, a small, easy to store, you know, reference. And that is that is an integer, a uh, small positive integer, and that's actually all they really. Um, give you? <laughs> I mean, like, tell you what it's going to be. Like, hey, it's a small, non-negative integer. Good luck. Um, it's usually, like, you can, you know, there's a limit to how many you can open, so you're never going to uh, overflow an integer. Like, with, with JavaScript, this doesn't matter. With C++, um, it does. It matters what kind of data type you store, but integer is, um, my experience, always big enough. Um, Maxent is pretty big on most systems. That's, that's the largest integer you can have. Um, so you open it and then we want to set that, um, uh, it's sort of a weird thing. You have to read it and then write it, uh, to get this, 
struct. Struct is a is like a JavaScript object, and so you you read the data to find out what the current settings are, um, the I/O control flags, I guess, and then you modify it and then you write it again. And this way, you're you're only changing what you intend to change. Um, I find it kind of a like like the, this concept is is the same on Windows. It's the same for a lot of things in C and C plus plus, and and I guess I get it, but it's still it's still weird to me. Um, so we want DTR, and um, here we are. It's a bit we set in the I, I guess the. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure this one out. Um, we can go also go look at the code we wrote to do this, and you know the code that exists in Serial Port. And so, I, like, I know this can be done. I know this happens. But what I don't know is how do we set DTR before we open? You know, I guess during the open. And um, this is uh, there. We are open a Serial Port without asserting DTR. This is the problem we're having. Um, so I've done some more Googling, and it seems that it is possible on Windows, but probably not possible on Linux. Uh, with Windows, you can set a default um, default mode for serial ports before you open them. Um, I, I have to this this is going to require a bunch of integration testing, and that's going to be a pain. So how, how do we proceed? I, I don't think I'm going to solve this today, but um, I think we can give this person an answer. And so they're using Windows. Um, so th they actually have some Python code they say works fine. So like we can read that Python code and maybe emulate it. Because um, I got to say, this this Stack Overflow answer does not make me happy. We're we're executing a command so like. <laughs> Um, which sets, uh, um, uses mode. I, I don't know what mode is, um, but <sighs> yeah, that's a, that's a hard thing to search for. Um, yeah, so like, I'm, I'm not liking these answers anyway. I, I, as with most serial port things, it's, 30, 40 years old, and you know the APIs have been like shoved around ever since, and the underlying drivers all implement something along the way of the last 40 years, and everything else adapts to like accommodate it. So it's it's weird. Um, to to this being enforced by Linux's serial port drivers um, on Windows. I've seen a few examples of how it might work, uh, but this one, this problem is going to be difficult to address. Uh, uh, I do recommend uh, uh, modifying your Arduino, uh, you know, if you require. Uh, or using its its TX and RX pins instead of USB serial. Uh, you know, if you don't want it to restart. Um, you'd use these pins with a TTL cable. And let's go find one just because it's nice. Add a fruit, TTL, cable, USB to um, This one will work. It's going to be 3.3 volts. Um, let's do one that's five. Uh, what do they? What do they call this cable? They call this cable. Uh, it's under USB cables. Here we are. Uh, this one is broken out wires. That would be more ha handy for them. Is this only three volts? They are. Eh. Stick with the five volts. Seventeen bucks, really? Spark fun. 
FTDI, that's what we're looking for. So FTDI makes serial chips. <laughs> um, and uh, they make a USB to serial ch uh, chip that is incredibly prolific. Um, it's also incredibly um, pirated, and occasionally they try to, um, to to crack down on that, and they break devices all over the world. So it's sort of an interesting uh, battle to watch. This one is seventeen dollars too. Well, okay. Um, Uh, with a USB TTL cable, uh, Spark Fun, Add a Fruit, instead of the USB serial if you don't want it to restart. Uh, Um, okay. Green for release there. Um, you mentioned, all right. So, we have a nice call to action. You know, you have some code that might work. If we can copy it, we will. And here's a hardware workaround. And I don't think I misspelled too many things. So, let's go. Um, and I wish I could have solved this. I'm going to keep the issue open for a while. I'm not sure if this is something we're going to have in our roadmap. Uh, Chrome serial port. I've had a lot more people working on that. Um, as a very good API to sort of check, to gut check against. Um, they have set control signals, which is a different uh, function. It looks like they don't have anything in open. So it's not an open um, option. Let's see, these are connection options. So these are when you open parity, stop bits, flow control, but no DTR. It looks like it's not something they provide. So that, you know, that sucks. Um, they've provided pretty much all the standard interfaces for everything. Um, I'm okay having a little more functionality if it helps Windows people, right? But it is, um, it sucks when you can't do the same thing across platforms. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and um, hope to do this again soon.